Welcome to Interview Me, where I interview you. Or in this case, nobody, because nobody's here. What am I doing? It's like, I have a magic wand. I actually, in high school, I came up with, like, this whole thing where I was the positivity fairy. And I spread positivity to the world. But I, myself, am, am incredibly negative. Who would have guessed? Anyways, that has nothing to do with anything. Today we're going to talk about Blown Away by Carrie Underwood, The X Factor, and Chris Brown's nonsensical nonsense. First, we're going to talk about Carrie Underwood's new single, Blown Away. It is amazing. Like, I really don't like Carrie Underwood that much. I think she's a hoochie hoe, and she's just generic and boring, and all those other things. But I used to like her when she sang, Jesus, take the wheel, take it from my hands. Jesus really does need to take the wheel from her hands because she needs to stop. But Blown Away is amazing and it's a really good song. It's very pop and it's very dark. This is about this girl whose like father is abusive and a drunk, I guess. And so there's a tornado coming and she doesn't wake him up. And he dies in the tornado. And my favorite line from the song is, There's not enough rain in Oklahoma to wash the sins out of that house. It's just, it's very dark. But it's very, it's very nice. I really like it. And it's almost fantastical. And I love the music video. How there's like sort of Wizard of Oz references. Like near the end. But um, yeah I really like it. If you haven't, grow, if you haven't heard it, go listen to it. And go like my Facebook page also. Since we're on the, the um, thing of thinking. That, what? Next we're going to talk about yeah, my list. My listicle. Next we're going to talk about The X Factor. Um, I did not watch The X Factor last year. And... I was honestly planning on never watching The X Factor until they announced Britney Spears as a judge. And you know, the first night was amazing. Like, it was two hours long, and you know, it was a little lengthy for any sort of TV show. But I really enjoyed it. Like, the stories were good. I really liked how they really went behind the scenes and, like, really showed the contestants, try to show what they were really like. Um, I really hated that one girl with the blonde hair who had, like, no chin, who was, you know, sort of a witch to the uh, the black girl who was like amazing she was amazing like perfect the first contestant i believe that they showed um don philip i think is he on the second night no he's on the first night they were so sad because i totally knew who it was like as soon as he walked on stage and was like i did do the work with, i did a duet with britney spears i was like oh my god don philip and it was just really emotional and really good and i just i hate the voice for putting a third night on and you know it didn't backfire on them like i would hope it would have because they got more viewers but the x factor was the most talked about um tv show ever on social media i read which is pretty amazing and it was it's a really good show and the second night was really good too and i really felt bad for that guy who was a really big fan of britney spears who almost snapped and stabbed him all to death that's why I would never go on there, because if Britney Spears told me no, I'd just have to cry for the rest of my life. But it's a really good show, and you know, I don't really like the boys anyways, because I don't like Blake Shelton, I don't like Adam Levine, I don't like Christina, and I don't like CeeLo Green. So I don't like anybody on that show, so I just won't like anybody. Last thing we're going to talk about is Chris Brown. He got a tattoo of what looks like a beaten woman on his neck, and I'm sure you've heard about it. My friend Chastity says that it's not a beaten woman, it's a candy skull for, like, the Day of the Dead, and I'm just like, is he Spanish? No. So, I don't think he should have got that, especially since it looks like a beaten woman. And, you know, I guess the candy skull thing makes a little bit of sense, but not really. So... I think he shouldn't have got it because that's just totally crazy. And I don't know why this man wins awards. I was going to cover him like with the VMAs. Why did he win that award? He, He's a woman beater. He sang that song, the Michael Jackson song, and cried. And everyone's like, oh, it's okay. No, why is this man even making money and winning awards? Why don't we like blackball him out of Hollywood? I mean, really, everyone's going all crazy about Kristen Stewart. Her career is possibly over because she cheated on someone, which is definitely wrong. But you, but people are going to be like, we hate her. But they're going to be like, oh, we love Chris Brown. Let's buy his music and make him win awards. No. Anyways. That is about it. And it's not really funny. It's just really, I don't know. Blah. If you hear something in the background, it's my me ma playing with the dogs. Anyways. Adios, amigos. Because you, you never change.
I found a hair. It was gross. Oh god. I'll edit that out and put it at the, at the end of the video. I don't do well with stray hair, you know, especially in strange places that just, they don't belong. 